She was part of a state championship in high school, a top 72 individual finish at the D2 Nationals her freshman year, top 16 in the RMAC championships, but Lauren Martin has gone from a contribution to the Adams State women's cross country team to a factor in her sophomore season, fresh off a top four finish in the RMAC championship. Lauren is getting ready for the South Regionals and then the RMAC championship. It's been a huge leap from your freshman to sophomore year. Why has everything come together this season? I think as a team we made our goals and we went in the season knowing what we wanted to do and we we just made it happen. We um, worked our butts over the summer and um, we actually most of us stayed here this summer which a lot of us don't do and it was really fun to have people to train with and I really enjoyed it and I think that made us come together as a team and be able to do what we're doing. You're a part of a team that has such an international flavor and, and flair and, and track and field and cross country and, and your dad almost has to be a, an adopted father for a lot of these, these women and these men. When, when you are working for your dad in, in a cross country capacity and, and he's looking out for all of your teammates that you're also friends with, how does that help the bonding experience? You know, at first it was a little difficult because I think they didn't know how to react to my dad being the coach and being my dad at the same time. And I think over throughout the rest of the year and my freshman year, we've gotten it together in that we figured out how to make it work. And a lot of the girls on the team call him dad now, and it's pretty funny. And I call him coach dad because that's what he is. And so it's actually a really good relationship. Okay, so he's got 26 <laughs> national championships. He's got 30 national coach of the year awards, but he's never coached a sibling before, especially in this capacity, coached uh, a daughter or, or son before. Uh, when you look at how he's handled the situation, uh, what, what has changed in, in kind of the, the last year of his approach to you? Um, I think he's been a lot tougher on me. I think at first he was scared to be tough on me, knowing what I would, um, how I would react and how I would handle his pressure. And I think he's decided that I'm tough enough to handle it and do that. So, It's Lauren Martin, Adam State Cross Country. You've also had the opportunity to enjoy the, the international feel of, of American athletics. I mean, this summer you were in London for the Olympics. Whole family experience. And your whole family loves cross country and track yeah. and field. So being in London where the U.S. just dominated the last mm -hmm. five days. Give us an idea of what, what really stood out in that moment, that opportunity to be in that city with your family? Um, I think it was really amazing. Um, my favorite race or my favorite experience was probably the men's marathon and watching how Meb did what he did. Um, I don't know if like he knew during the race that Abdi and Ryan Hall had dropped out and just the pressure that was on him as the American men's distance running had done so good the rest of the Olympics. And so it was really fun to be out there cheering for him and he came back and ended up fourth. And so that was a a huge victory even though he didn't win or anything it was amazing to watch all the pain he went through for the distance running and it was really hard and so I know as, as a distance runner who's looking at doing the marathon after college or whatever it was um, really inspiring to watch him and be so tough. You're in, in a setting where there's so much patriotism but almost global support and, and sometimes it's easy to have a, a local mindset where you really don't take yeah. into consideration everything else that's out there. When you're around dozens of different languages at one time when you're on the tube just stuck in there with basically thousands of people trying to get from one side to another how does that change your, your perspective of your sport and, and really even life when you come back from an event like that um, I think you look at the world differently it was amazing to see how like other countries were cheering for the United States and how all the United States fans were cheering for Jamaica as they broke the world record and beat us I mean it was amazing to see the accomplishments they had and so I think it's crazy that the world can come together and just support athletes and help them do what they do every day. Lauren Martin, Adam State, cross country. Grizzlies ranked number two in the country. Showdown with Augustana. It's inevitable for Lauren. Okay, let's let's talk a little bit post-college. I would never do this with a sophomore, but <laughs> you're so far ahead of everyone else in terms of planning and preparing. Had, what, a 3.8 GPA last year doing kind of pre-law government. Where are you at right now for the GPA? I'm a 3.8 still. So. Okay, 3.8 right now. So when, when you're preparing for pre-law and you also have plans to run marathons mm -hmm. after college, how are you approaching this? Um, you know, I take it one day at a time, but I, I really don't want to go to law school right out of, right out of college. And that is what I want to do, but I don't want to do it right away. And so running marathons has always been something I wanted to do. And so I think doing it right after college would be a good experience because the 2016 Olympic trials would be coming up and I want to be a part of that. Uh, I will be your coach so I can go to Rio. How's that sound? 
sounds good. Lauren, uh, of course, had an, an early interest in, in kind of pre-law and government, but when, when did it set in? I mean, it's obviously not an uh, area of study where a lot of kids find captivating and exciting, but when did you realize you were really interested in this aspect of study? Um, probably my senior year of high school, I took AP government with Mr. Jerry Reed, and he's just an amazing teacher, and the way he taught inspired me, and he's, he's the one who got me in interested into it. What, what is interesting? Is it the ability to lay out your case and, and create a different way of interpreting law? I mean, what, what really excites you the most about this area of study? Um, that everybody has an impact on government. As long as you know the ins and outs of it, you can figure out how you get your view put in there. And I just think that's the most important part is having your your part of what you're saying in the world. So. Well, and, and that's why I was interested in hearing your response because when you're running a, a 6K, you almost have to compute the numbers in your head during the course of the meet. If, if you want your team to win, you have to be able to look at the different competitors and understand here's where the, the point standings are. How, how does your mind refresh automatically and to be able to calculate those numbers so you're aware of exactly where your team stands at a given point in a race? Um, you know, I, I just make sure I can see Alicia and I know if I can see Alicia then there's not very many people between the two of us. So as long as I can see her then I know we're doing okay. You were able to watch both her and Kelly Lamb on the Saturday race in Colorado Springs where Adam State won the RMAC championship third week of October 2010 so when you're watching both of them it must be even more of a motivating factor knowing that your two teammates are, are doing so well when you're trying to lock up that third and then fourth spot with you know uh, Alyssa Selvi and, and Sarah Lang and, and some other players who are, are emerging where is your role in kind of being that bridge between first to fifth and remaining in that, that number three spot yeah we work on practice every day on getting Alyssa a little closer to me and Kelly and um, Alicia and she's been doing that very well and so I think when you practice all together it, it's easier to do together in a race and yeah. so as long as um, I mean I, we run with Alicia every day and so it pulls us along through and we don't want to make it seem like it's all about the national championship right now because the South Central region is going to be it's going to be fierce. It's, it's just going to be a mess. But the reality of the situation is this: Augustana, their fourth and fifth runners in 2011, had a big advantage over Adam State. And right now, you and, and two or three of your teammates, you're going to be in such a, a a big position to change it this year. Knowing this information, how does it affect your preparation? Um, I think we're looking at it as we're not peak. We didn't peak for the RMAC meet, and we're not going to peak for the regional meet. We're going to peak to win nationals, and so we just have to know that we're going to have to go out there and race hard at regionals and do the best we can without peaking, and then go in there and just find Augustana and beat them head to head. Have fun, 2009 state championship in high school. Now in position for state championship at Adams State. What a ride! Good luck. Thank you. It's Lauren Martin, Adam State Cross Country. This is KSBK's Grizzly Connect. I'm Brian Johnson.